For as long as Florida has existed above sea level, colliding inland sea breezes have created strong thunderstorms in the spring and summer. The lightning started fires that continued until they either ran out of fuel or the rain put them out. Over time, the native plants and animals of Florida have adapted to these fire-maintained habitats. Florida ecosystems actually need fire to stay healthy. Fire promotes plant diversity, creates healthier habitats for wildlife, and reduces heavy vegetation that can fuel catastrophic wildfires. The Southwest Florida Water Management District is required by the state to restore and maintain healthy ecosystems on more than 300,000 acres of land vital to the area's water resources. Fire is the most cost efficient and effective way to manage and maintain this land. That's why control burning is the land management tool of choice. Control burning is not an option, it's a requirement in managing conservation lands. The Water Management District has been conducting prescribed burns since the early 1970s when there was not as much urbanization and therefore it was not nearly as sophisticated. Today is far more sophisticated. The training and prescriptions and the due diligence is much more thorough to ensure the safety of our neighbors and the people conducting the burns. We have southeast winds, them staying pretty steady. A controlled burn, also called prescribed fire, is a fire intentionally set by highly trained certified burn managers. Each burn is authorized and regulated by a legal document called a burn prescription. A burn prescription is a legal document describing the size, the area, and the weather parameters we need to meet our burn objectives. It also identifies smoke sensitive areas such as roads, schools, and hospitals, and things of that nature. It allows us to do what we need to do on the conservation lands while accounting for public safety. Preserving wildlife is always a big concern. Studies show very few animals are lost during controlled burns. Healthy, fire-maintained habitats and the species that make these habitats home bring another benefit, greater opportunities for wildlife viewing on district lands, which is a big economic draw for the state and local communities. Controlled burning also helps protect homeowners who live adjacent to district lands by reducing the threat of destructive wildfires. One of the things that we've learned as homeowners over the last 10 years or so is that burning actually prevents wildfires. One of the things that we typically see after a burn is uh, deer, lots of wildlife, uh, seems to, to promote more of that uh, within the preserve. Control burning reduces the occurrence and severity of wildfires, decreases the taxpayer expense of firefighting, and increases the safety of the firefighters. Fire is an integral part of keeping Florida's forests diverse, dynamic, and natural. The district's control burning program allows us to use fire for all its benefits without compromising public safety. We're working to maintain the beauty and function of Florida's natural systems. For more information, visit watermatters.org slash publications and order your free copy of the prescribed fire brochure.